Okay, friends. Hi. Can you see me? <laughs> I have a story that I'm going to read to you. It's called The Biggest House in the World. Huh. What kind of house is that? Let's read our story to find out, and then I have a fun little arts and craft project that you guys can do if you choose to. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. The biggest house in the world. Some snails lived on a juicy cabbage. They moved gently around carrying their houses from leaf to leaf in search of a tender spot to nibble on. One day, a little snail said to his father, when I grow up, I want to have the biggest house in the world. That's silly, said his father, who happens to be the wisest snail on the cabbage. Some things are better small, and he told this story. Once upon a time, a little snail, just like you, said, to his, said his father, when I grow up, I want to have the biggest house in the world. Some things are better small, said his father. Keep your house light and easy to carry. But the little snail would not listen and hidden in the shade of a large cabbage leaf. He twisted and twitched his way this way and that way until he discovered how to make his house grow. It grew and grew and the snails on the cabbage said, you surely have the biggest house in the world. The little snail kept on twisting and twitching until his house was as big as a melon. Then, by moving his tail swiftly from left to right, he learned to grow large pointed bulges. And by squeezing and pushing and by wishing very hard, he was able to add bright colors and beautiful designs. Now he knew that his house was the biggest and the most beautiful house in the whole world. He was proud and happy. A swarm of butterflies flew overhead. Look, one of them said, a cathedral. No, said another, it's a circus. They never guessed that what they were looking at was the house of a snail. And a family of frogs on their way to a distant pond stopped in awe. Never, they later told some cousins, never have you seen such an amazing sight. An ordinary little snail with a house like a birthday cake. One day, after they had eaten all the leaves and only a few knobby stems were left, the snails moved to another cabbage. But the little snail, alas, couldn't move. His house was much too heavy. He was left behind, and with nothing to eat, he slowly faded away. Nothing remained but the house, and that too, little by little, crumbled until nothing remained at all. That was the end of the story. The little snail was almost in tears, but then he remembered his own house. I shall keep it small, he thought, and when I grow up, I shall go wherever I please. 
And so one day, light and joyous, he went on to see the world. Some leaves fluttered lightly in the breeze, and others hung heavily to the ground. Where the dark earth had split, crystals gathered in the early sun. There were polka-dotted mushrooms and towery, towery stems from which the little flowers seemed to wave. There was a pine cone laying in the shade of the ferns and pebbles in the nest of the sand, smooth and round, like eggs of a turtle dove. Lynching clung to the rocks and the bark to the trees. The tender bun buds were sweet and cool with morning dew. The little snail was very happy. beautiful spot he found to live. The seasons came and went, but the snail never forgot the story his father had told him. And when somebody asked, how come you have such a small house? He would tell the story of the biggest house in the world. The end. Oh, that was a lovely book. So I thought we walked around the classroom and I found some different pieces of paper and I designed my own house. I have the sun, a chimney, my house, a heart window, and a cotton ball door, and some grass. And on the bottom it says Miss Erin's house. I wonder what kind of houses you guys can make. I bet you can find a whole bunch of different types of materials at home you could use. Ask your parents and see what they say and I can't wait. Hopefully you guys can send me some pictures of the houses you designed. Okay, I hope you guys have a great afternoon and you guys will see Mrs. Lorelei in a little bit for Afternoon Circle. Okay, look to your parents to see what you can do now. Bye!